I've grown up on the River Soar. Uh, I actually live on it, my garden backs onto it, which has been a fantastic upbringing. I, uh, I first, started, first started fishing the rivers when I was three years old and uh, used to go with my dad. Uh, fishing a, a little elasticated whip uh, and then progressed things on, moved on to a pole and then eventually did some stuff with rod and line. Started off catching, well, probably caught a perch to begin with as most people do, a few gudgeon. And then uh, as, I, uh, as I grew up, got into my teens, got into a lot of uh, specimen fishing. Still on the saw, but targeting more specific species, chub, barbel, and then in recent years I've, I've made my way back into match fishing. Doing a lot of uh, different types of fishing, specimen fishing, has taught me a lot about my angling. It's, it's taught me watercraft, which is a, a fantastic skill to have. Knowing how to approach a swim, how to work a peg, how to target specific species is um, something that's helped me a lot in my angling. Uh, even a lot of it passes over into match fishing. I say I specimen fished in my teens, but I fished a few junior matches when I was younger. Um, I actually, the first ever match I fished was with uh, East Leak Angling Club on the Loughborough Canal when I was about eight years old, and I actually won it. Um, I've still got the trophy somewhere, but so I've always had that competitive side of me, and even when I was doing my, my specimen fishing, that never went away. And then in my late teens, I started getting back into course fishing, general course fishing a little bit more. Started catching a few fish. Started back with a fishing club and started fishing a few matches again. Started off a bit ropey as most people do, but soon started progressing, started winning a few matches then winning more and more matches and I moved into the open match scene uh, mainly on the River Soar where we are today. The Soar is a, a fantastic place to, to fish matches. There's, there's some fan, uh, brilliant fishing on offer because of the variety of angling there is. There's, I've seen weights of £100 plus of bream in a winter league. I've seen uh, weights of, of perch, perch are regularly caught over, over three pound on this river which is just phenomenal. And then nets of roach, 20 pound of roach is it's not uncommon. Um, so the, there really is something for everyone. So the stage I'm at now, I, I, I fish for Quorn uh, in the Saw Valley Winter League. Uh, team fishing has been a really nice experience because it's taught me fishing in a lot of different ways, whether I might be fishing for, um, for good points, I might have to catch a lot of small fish and just keep putting fish in my net to get good points for the team. On better days, I might have a chance of catching some bonus fish, maybe framing, winning the match. Um, or I might have to do something a little bit different to try and get out of jail. I might have to fish for a big perch, fish for a, a chub on some of the faster bits. So there's, there's always something different to do. Uh, the, the winter league is great. The, the social side of it is brilliant. All, on the whole, <laughs> lovely people. Uh, and I've grown up fishing against some of the best anglers in the country, um, which has, has really helped in, in my own angling. Uh, fish against the likes of the Starlets and uh, some of the local Leicester anglers that have been fishing for years. And it's, uh, it's been great, they've, they've, they've taught me a lot and it's, it's really improved my own angle. I was approached earlier this year by Adam Nurse to fish for Colmick and uh, come as a bit of a shock to be honest with you because I just like, I just love fishing, I just like to get on with my fishing and it, but it, it is nice to be noticed for uh, some of the results I've had. I'm, uh, I'm really liking using all, all the tackle from Colmick, they, they make really good quality tackle and they're a, they're a big established brand in, in Italy and, and they're definitely growing in the UK and I'm, I'm excited about that. Their kit, you, 
it suits my style of angling. It's, it's very suited to uh, natural venues, not only natural venues, but uh, commercials as well. And it just covers everything for me. One of the first things that struck me when I uh, opened the Colmick catalogue, uh, not only the ridiculous amount of tackle they make, but also the huge range of, of pole floats. And being a bit of a, uh, a tackle start, I was, uh, I was straight on it. One thing that really struck me about the, the floats was the quality of them. They're very well made, they've lasted really well, and they're really strong. You, you could never break one in, unless you do something out of the ordinary. Um, and yeah, they're, they're just perfect for what I, I need. So, the Karmic Streams, they're a really big part of my fishing. I use them for my chop worm fishing. Uh, they've got a thick plastic bristle, uh, a, a round body, but the line actually goes through the body so you don't get any of the line cutting through the float. And they've got a nice stable wire stem. So, uh, the Karmic Dodders, a perfect hemp float. Uh, we do a lot of hemp fishing on the saw. Uh, they've got a carbon stem, uh, an elongated rugby ball shaped body uh, and a hollow bristle. The hollow bristle is something that I never thought I needed uh, until I moved on to it. When you get those awkward light situations, uh, when you've got reflections of trees on the far bank, they just light up perfectly and you can see them really clearly. The, the last thing you want is to be feeding a line for ages uh, towards the end of the match, you go on your hemp line and you can't see your float. You need to see all those little indications and the hollow bristle allows you to do that. The Karmic Eddy is a, a no-nonsense float. It covers most of my uh, angling situations where I'm, I'm fishing for uh, roach, skimmers, perch, over ground bait with maggots and casters, that kind of thing. It has your, your standard uh, round sort of rugby ball shaped body. Uh, wire stem and a thin uh, plastic tip which again is really easy to see. Uh, I've, I've moved on to these a lot more instead of your maybe more sensitive fiberglass tips but if you can't see them then what's the point? Bef even before I joined Karmic uh, I've used quite a few of the products especially the hooks um, the, in the high booster range. I use the, the 128 for my general uh, fishing maggots, casters, uh, a bit of hemp, that sort of thing. Uh, and the 157s, they're just an animal of a hook. They're super strong, super sharp, and I use those for my big fish, my worm fishing, when you know they're never going to let you down, you're never going to bend one out, and they're just perfect, really. Fishing for wary fish in clear waters, such as this one, uh, having the right line has always been uh, an important part of my angling. It's something that I've, I've very ra rarely changed. I've used the, the stream tech line from Comet for a number of months now, and I've found it to be brilliant. It's, it's, a, it's a monofilament, but it's had a, it's had a fluorine process to it, which makes it pretty much invisible in water. It's, it's super strong. Uh, and it comes in a big range of sizes, so it's, it's ideal for what I need. When I first joined Karmic, uh, the first thing that struck me uh, in the catalogue was the F66 pole. I've had one now for uh, two or three months. Um, I was reluctant to change at the start, as my current part, my pole that I had previously uh, performed fine for what I needed it to. But this F66 has been phenomenal. It's strong, stiff, it's responsive, it's everything I need in a pole. It doesn't, it's not going to let you down. Uh, the demands of natural venue fishing are uh, a lot more than commercial fishing, despite what people might tell you. You're shipping in and out hundreds of times in a match. You're striking hard with big floats, breaking down at top fives, top fours, swinging fish into hand, you're cupping in heavy balls of ground bait. This puts a lot of stress on a pole. And, and this can handle it with no problem. I've got no worries about it. A lot of the Karmic products, although they're an Italian company, they're perfectly suited to the use in the UK. They have a lot of natural venue fishing over there. 
So uh, the long landing net poles that they do, like the scarf, at, at four metres and five metres, they're, they're perfect for these sorts of venues when you, you have to get over the weed in the summer to net fish uh, and they just give you that extra bit of reach. So if I was to give one piece of advice to a young angler looking to get sponsored, um, my advice would be just go fishing and enjoy yourself. If you're good enough, sponsorship will come along. You need to just, you need to be approachable um, and you, you need consistent results, you need to be out there doing it. Um, but first and foremost, enjoy your fishing. That's because that's what it's about. If you, if you don't in, enjoy it, then why are you doing it?